Hey, what's up? My name's Hubward, and in today's video, we are going to open the Gigabyte Aorus 50 from 2023 to upgrade the RAM and to install a second M.2 or upgrade the existing M.2. So, this video applies to the 2023 version of the Aorus 15, but I'm sure that most of the steps will be identical with older ones, but no guarantees. So in order to open the laptop, we put it on the back and what we need is a Torx screwdriver with a size 6. It's a small Torx screwdriver, it's not a regular Phillips screwdriver, you won't be able to open it with that. And then we will have to get rid of the 12 screws that you can see here, I'm pointing at them. Um, we have to open up all of them. And I'm just going to fast forward that for you. P.S. If you're keeping track, I actually missed a screw and later had problems opening the laptop and had to release that afterwards. And even though my um, screwdriver was magnetic, I was not able to get all the screws outside of the laptop. So I was using a small strong magnet and took off the top of my screwdriver. Uh, connected it with the magnet which um, strengthened the magnetic force. Um, this way I was able to get out all the screws easily. Once you're done, place the screws at a safe uh, place so you won't um, lose them. And it's also important to note that four of the screws are a bit shorter. These are the four screws at the back of the laptop. Um, make sure that you keep track of them when you know, so you won't um, mix them up when you um, put the laptop back together later. So, now that we release the screws, we will have to find this thin line where the top and the bottom are connected. It's usually not possible to pry open the laptop with the fingernails, so you need some kind of pry tool. If you don't have one of these, what you can use is a credit card or some other plastic, thin plastic part. And you'll have to find that thin line right here that I'm showing right now. And you have to insert the card. Um, and slide it along so some of the parts that keep the laptop together are released. Don't be afraid, you can't break anything with that method. As you can see, I'm now able to get the grip with my fingers and I can now gently pull the parts apart. But as I said before, I did not release all the screws. So now all the screws are released, we can take off the back of the laptop and put it aside for now. The first thing that you want to do before working inside the laptop is to unplug the battery by releasing this cable. Um, it's quite important because otherwise you can short circuit some parts by touching them. Now as you can see here, I already have the second RAM stick installed and I'm going to release this to simulate um, putting it inside again. Okay, first we're going to install a second M.2 SSD. And to do so, we have to release this small screw over here. But this is not a torque screw, it's a regular Phillips um, screw. And then make sure to align the SSD, just as shown here. Um, put it inside this slot, like with a 45 degree angle. And once it's fully inside, press it down and at the end use the screw to um, fix it and tighten the screw. And that's basically it. Usually you will have to activate um, the hard drive in the Windows hard drive manager before it's recognizable by the system. I'm showing the whole process again from this angle so you can see it much better. Make sure that it's really inside the slot before pressing it down. If it's not really inside, you won't be able to um, tighten the screw. And that's basically it. 
Now to upgrade the RAM, make sure you're using compatible RAM, which in this case is DDR5 RAM, DDR4 RAM won't fit. And make sure that you um, use it the other way around than the other RAM stick, because they're always um, like 180 degrees from each other. So slightly find uh, this small slot so it will perfectly fit inside. If you would put it that way, that won't work. And again, like use a 45 degree angle and once it's inside, press down and make sure that the brackets at the side are holding it in place like this. And that's basically it. Um, you could also, of course, release the um, 8 GB that are pre-installed and install 2 times 16 GB or even 2 times 32 GB into the gigabyte um, or 15 that's the maximum ram that is allowed for the 2023 version and once you're done don't forget to replug the battery and then just uh, do the whole um, process that we've seen in the beginning um, backwards um, take the bottom of the um, laptop and place it on the back side um, push down until it clicks and you feel that it really it is tight um, on the laptop and then use the screws um, and place everything together uh, once more and enjoy. Um, once again, if the laptop does not recognize the hard drive in Windows, you will need to start the Windows hard drive manager and uh, format the disk to um, NTFS. That's all for today. If you liked the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for a lot of laptop reviews, GPU tests, RAM tests, CPU tests and computer stuff as well. Yeah. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye and tschüss.